now we're going to look at some of our quadrilaterals on um, a coordinate plane, and that's why I call it coordinate ge geometry. Um, we are going to be given um, some points, uh, four points. Um, we're going to first determine which kind of quadrilateral it is. So we've got a parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square. And so we're going to check the congruency of its sides. And then we're also going to check the congruency of its diagonals. And this is kind of a little cheat sheet on which one it's going to be based on those congruencies. And we are going to use, if you remember, we're going to use our, for this, we're going to use our distance formula. And remember that it is a of 2 minus a, x of 2 minus x of 1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y. And remember the x and the um, x's and y's come from the points that are given. So let me show you what this looks like. So we have these four points and um, I will give you some graph paper so you can actually um, graph it out. So it's going to look something like this. I don't know what it really looks like. A, B, C, D. And so we want to see, because remember, opposite sides congruent, opposite sides congruent, all four sides are congruent, or all four sides are congruent. So we want to check to see what's the distance here, and the distance here, and the distance here, and the distance here first. Okay, so we're going to check the sides first. So our points, we're going to go from A, B. So from A to B, we're going to find the distance. So this is going to be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. And we're going to take the square root of X2, 8, minus 9 squared, plus negative 2, minus negative 4 squared. And you can do that two ways. I'm going to leave this as the simplified version of the square root of 5. Okay? Now we want to check to see, remember we're doing opposite sides are congruent for two of them. So let's go ahead and do the opposite side, which would be C to D. So then we do C to D, oh, let's get it different. This will be X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So we're going to say 3 minus 2 squared plus negative 7 minus negative 5 squared. And if we do the math, that's negative 5. All right, now let's check. Our other side, we got BC, BC, so that is these two right here. So this is X1, Y1, X2, Y2, 8 minus 2, oh, come on, 2 minus 8 squared plus negative 5 minus 2 squared, and that gives me square root of 45. And finally, AD. That's 1, Y1, X2, Y2 now. So square root of 3 minus 9 squared plus negative 7 minus negative four squared and that's giving me negative 45. So what it looks like here is that this is the same as this and this one is the same as this. So let's look at our options first. So opposite sides are congruent for a parallelogram. So this could be a 
parallelogram, opposite sides are congruent in our rectangle. So, or a rectangle. Um, all four sides are congruent in a rhombus, can't be rhombus. All four sides are congruent in a square, can't be a square. All right, that's why we also have to look at our diagonals. So now we need to do the same thing from A to C and the same thing for B to D. And if I do the same distance formula, I find that A to C is 50 and B to D is 50. So what, which one is it if they are the same? Um, in our parallelograms, they are not congruent. This instance, they are congruent. So we have one that congruent in our rectangle. So this is a rect. You can't see the writing. This is a rectangle. All right. So when you're asked to classify your quadrilateral, you need to do the distance of all four sides and then do the distance of the diagonal and use this chart as a little cheat sheet. All right. You might be given some points with a quadrilateral and want to know what is the slope of one of the sides. Um, so remember our slope formula. I'm going to write it on this first page just so I put these little formulas together. Is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that here. For slope, we are doing y2 minus y1, x2 minus, that's what it is, minus x1. Okay, so we want to know what is the slope of QR, so this side right here. And we know that P is located at negative 1, 6, and S is located at negative 7, negative 3. Remember, these two sides are parallel. Parallel sides, the slope is the same. So I can find the slope of PS, and that's the same as QR. So this is x1, y1, this is x2, y2. So let's put in, we got y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, and that ends up being negative 9 over negative 6, and that is 3 halves. So the slope of QR equals 3 over 2. Okay. On our parallelogram, S is located at negative 4, 1 and t is located at 5, 3. We want to know what is the length of v. We want to know the distance. Distance. So we're going to go back to our distance formula. Remember, these two sides are congruent, so I can find the distance here. x1, y1, x2, y2. So. We're going to take the square root of 5 minus negative 4 squared plus 3 minus 1 squared. And we can leave this as square root of 85. Um, or we can go ahead and take the square root of 85, which is... 9.2. Okay. <laughs> Finally, you might be asked something like this. So we've got our parallelogram A is at 1, 1, B is at 8, 5, C is at 5, negative 5, and D is at negative 2, negative 9. 
and we want to know the coordinates of E. So, remember, our diagonals bisect each other, and that means it cuts it in half. So when you're asked about that point inside, the coordinates of those points, we're going to be talking about the midpoint. Remember the midpoint formula is I'm not even you can see what I'm writing. Right. The midpoint formula. I'm making myself some room. The x value of the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And the y value is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we are finding that middle point between these two points. You can use either A and C, or you can use D and B. It doesn't matter. I used D and B, so this is X1, Y1, and this is X2 and Y2. So I'm going to take E8. plus the negative 2 divided by 2, and the 5 plus the negative 9 divided by 2. And when I do this math, that gives me 3. And when I do this math, it gives me negative 2. So that point is at 3, negative 2. Let me know if you have any questions on any of this coordinate geometry.